Welcome to Today with Marilyn and Sarah. I am just so happy you are watching. I want to welcome our partners, these wonderful, wonderful people who support us, help us to reach the world with the gospel. But today, all today, now listen closely, we're going to look at freedom from stress, anxiety, and worry. But here's someone who was watching our program, Ophelia, and she believed God for a car because we prayed for cars, houses, and jobs. And they stepped out in faith, and this couple got a car, and that's a miracle. And you can call in, and we can pray for you for a miracle. Now, folks, you say, well, I don't believe they happened today. Too late to tell me that. I've been believing for miracles since I was 16. Oh, I'm really in it. <laughs> so, you know, when people say, well, I don't believe for miracles, I think the day of miracles has passed. Well, mine hasn't passed, and I don't believe yours has passed. And so here I get these testimonies of people believing for miracles. But today, today is a miracle day for you. So put your hand on your heart. Say, today is my miracle day because we're going to get free of any kind of stress, anxiety, worry. We're not going to be restless. We're not going to be depressed. We're going to operate in faith. Now, you say, well, it doesn't work. Honey, too late to tell me that. And we are going to be ministering to you today and I believe it is your special miracle day. Get your faith out there with mine. Together, we are impacting thousands of lives with the truth, compassion, and power of God's Word. But there is still much more to be done. By becoming a partner with Marilyn Hickey Ministries, you'll share in bringing God's miracles and healing to the sick, experiencing a deep love for the Bible, and taking the gospel to the nations. When you become a $30 a month partner with Marilyn and Sarah, we'll send you our welcome gift package, which includes the Jehovah Rapha oil vial with oil prayed over by Marilyn and Sarah, our exclusive partner CD set, which includes six CDs featuring 12 never before released teachings, the Majesty coffee table book featuring beautiful representations of the names of God and more. If you have a passion to reach the lost and are ready to release the anointing of God into your life, then join us today by becoming a partner. Call or click today and help Marilyn and Sarah cover the earth with the word. Welcome to Today with Marilyn and Sarah. Now, of all the programs I've done all these many years, this is one of the most important. You say, what? What are you saying? You've been years in television, I know. But today is very special. You know why? because we're going to be ministering to you on stress. We're going to be ministering to you on anxiety and worry and how to be free. So put your hand on your heart. Say, I need to be free from anxiety, stress, and worry. I am so excited about what God is going to do in your life. And you can call in. You know, at any time and get prayer, we don't counsel, but we love to pray. And we're just going to stand for unusual miracles and breakthroughs today. So put your hand on your heart and say, today is my breakthrough day. And I believe that. I'm excited about this. I got excited in the night. I thought, oh my goodness, this is going to be an awesome day of television. So I want to look with you at what God did on the seventh day. This is in the Bible, so I'm only quoting from the Bible. He was not tired. Creation was finished, and man's first full day on the earth with God was a rest day. No wonder Jesus said, Come unto me, all ye that are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Are you feeling weary? Are you feeling like, will my troubles ever end? Are you feeling like, will I ever be healed? 
Well, this is the program for you because we believe this is going to be a miracle program and God has a miracle with your name on it. Are you excited? I know you think, wait a minute, wait a minute. Well, I'm not going to wait a minute. I'm going to push in, press in to see that you get a miracle today. Why not? And why do we have to wait forever? Well, I'm not good enough. I don't see that in the Bible. And when I look at what God did on the seventh day, he rested. So now he made, he's made man. So man's first full day on the earth was to rest. Now, you know, knowing the way we are, we would have said, wait a minute, I'll help you make it. But God wants us to rest in him. He wants us to be refreshed. And maybe right now you're just feeling overwhelmed with all the things that are going on. Well, you can pick up the phone. We don't counsel, but we would love to pray with you because I believe this is a miracle day with your name on it. I believe it's a miracle day. So I looked at this in Genesis 3.19. It says, in the sweat of your face, you shall eat bread till you return to the ground. So part of the curse was sweat and stress. And Jesus came and took the curses. So what are you doing carrying it? And I, every now and then I can get real, oh, you know, I have this, I have that. And I think, wait a minute. He told me he would carry it. So I'm going to have you wait a minute because I'm going to minister to you and I'm going to tell you there have been some times when I was in sweat, especially when I would go overseas, you know, to Pakistan because people said they were going to kill me, you know, and I think, God, you called me here. You want me to die early? <laughs> and I had to turn that over to him. And so today... I want you to turn some of those things that just eat on your guts to turn it over to him. So when I look at this, when Jesus received the sour wine, he said, it is finished. The curse is finished. So he finished what we take as ourselves and we don't really realize that we have his rest. So there are things, you know, I'm believing for now that I want to do overseas especially, and they don't look very good. And I remember just starting in the ministry, you know, people said, oh, you know, women shouldn't speak and, you know, you should sing and play the organ, but, you know, you shouldn't do anything like this. But I love this and I want you to get it. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So you say, I need to be strengthened in this area of my life. So I want you to call us for prayer because I'm going to believe for you to be strengthened. No matter what your age, no matter what you're facing, why can't you get a miracle today? You know, folks, I have lived in the miraculous and I can tell you when it started, it started when I was 16, when I received Jesus as my Savior. I have had a miraculous life. And I've had many people tell me, you cannot do this, you can't do that. But I'm going to go back to this. God thinks you can do anything, anything. And so we don't counsel, but we'd love to pray for you, for you to call in and say, this is the anything that I have. And we would love to pray with you. If you're carrying burdens and you're bent down under all this, he said, come to me, all you that are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. We want to pray with you. We want to pray that you get rest. And I like this. He, he came to give us his rest. What did God do on the seventh day? He rested from all his labors. Why did Jesus say, 
Come unto me, all ye that weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. So I can remember one time when Sarah was having some struggles. She was at ORU, and, you know, she just was disappointed in herself, I think disappointed in different things. And she had been overseas, and she said to me when she came home, I don't know if I believe in Jesus. You know, I was taught this way, so what choice did I have? And I can tell you, my heart fell, and maybe you are a parent today, and your children are saying and doing things that you just think, oh, God. And so she said to me, I don't know if you'll love me anymore. And I love this. And this is where you can rest in God. I said, Sarah, we don't love you by what you believe. We love you because you're ours. When you were born, you didn't believe anything, but you're ours. And so we have faith that God is going to take you through. And, you know, now I'm having faith for grandchildren and <laughs> great-grandchildren on my son's side. So why can't we have faith for you today, for your children, for your grandchildren? So call us. Let us pray with you. We don't counsel, but we're going to believe for this to be your miracle day. So maybe you need to write down three or four things so that when you call, you can give them exactly. And, you know, don't take a long time, but call in and say to the person who answers, this is my miracle day. When you pray with me, I'm going to get a miracle. And we're just going to... Stand in faith together. Folks, I think we need to set aside time when we just look to God, rest in God, and get the miraculous. This is very, very important. And I put some scriptures down here. The resting place, he said, his resting place shall be glorious. <laughs> you know, and you say, is that in the Bible? Yeah, that's in Isaiah 11:10. There is a place where we have to turn it over to God and rest in him. And he didn't say we chew our nails. He didn't say we have a nervous breakdown. He says that rest is glorious. Why is it glorious? Because we're resting in faith. And faith in your life Faith in my life is a process. And so I'm telling you today, you're in the process and we're going to be right back because this is our miracle time together. Amen. Faith and fear are opposites. They cannot exist in the same place at the same time. Prepare to replace your fears with your faith and witness the transformation in your life. For your gift of $25 or more, we will send you our Freedom from Stress, Fear, and Anxiety Pack. This valuable resource includes Marilyn's Breaking Free from Fear mini book, her Fear Not CD teaching, Sarah's Hope for the Future DVD, and our Breaking Free Scripture card. For your gift of $55 or more, we will include our Alabaster Anointing Oil Bottle and Frankincense Anointing Oil. Use this oil as you pray for peace over yourself, your family, and your home. This beautiful set is similar to the set used by the woman to anoint Jesus' feet in Mark 14. Now is the time to triumph over fear, stress, and anxiety forever. Call or click today for this empowering offer. Hey there, I want to encourage you to download our app on your phone. You're like, really serious? Absolutely. We have some amazing things on our app, really convenient for you. We have today's program. We have opportunities to pray for you. We have places for you to give and partner with us. We also have things that will help you know what events are coming up and group tours that you could join, as well as a Bible reading plan, daily Bible reading plan. This app is super relevant, very convenient, and super helpful for your daily living with Jesus. Marilyn and Sarah have been covering the earth with the Word on television for over 50 years. But television isn't the only way their ministry can be viewed. Today with Marilyn and Sarah can be seen on platforms such as YouTube, Roku, Fire TV, as well as podcasts on iTunes and Google. It's easier than ever to be encouraged with God's work at home, work, or on the go. 
You can replay any program at any time. Tune in and be blessed. Welcome back to your miracle. You say, what are you talking about? I'm believing that God has a miracle with your name on it. Now you say, well, come on. Believe for nothing in particular, and what do you get? Nothing in particular. So I'm believing for you, and I'm believing something particular. Now I have found out about the devil that he's restless. He wanders around looking who he can attack. He's restless. And so I think when we get all restless and uptight, we're getting into the devil's territory. And I don't want you there. And God doesn't want you there. He wants us to be full of miraculous faith. And that's what I want to share with you today. Now, why does the devil want you restless? Because then you don't focus on faith. And the Bible says, casting all your care on him, for he cares for you. Now, I don't know if you've ever had this experience. Probably you have. But you wake up in the night and you worry. And so you have to be careful. You think, oh, I'm awake and I'm worried. So-and-so hasn't been healed or I have a financial need or I need favor and I don't have favor right now. And all those things go through our mind. So this is what I want you to consider. We're going to cast all our care on him for he cares for you. And so I want you to call in and don't go into great detail, you know, but just cast that special thing on him. And we're going to pray and believe God for a miracle. And you're not going to be restless and you say, well, it's been a long time. I've prayed over this forever. Well, let's believe God together today. I believe this is your miracle day. So, you know, you say, well, I don't know. How do you believe that? Folks, I've been in faith since I was 16 and I'm 89 and my faith is still working and my faith is working with you. And I believe you're watching this program for a great purpose. And if you haven't called yet, you need to pick up the phone and call. And remember, we're not going to counsel you but you need to leave that special request. And you can say to them, I know he cares for me, so I'm leaving this request because the devil goes about like a roaring lion. He isn't even a lion. He's a pretender. So when people say, oh, the devil's a roaring lion, no, he isn't. He pretends to be a roaring lion. But you have the word of God that brings you through to victory. So... You know, I've had all kinds of situations and circumstances from walking in faith and the devil really after me big time. I remember one time when I wanted to get a visa to go to Pakistan to have a healing meeting and they said, no, 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 you're not going to get it. But I don't believe in giving up because I don't believe the game is over until you win. So we just kept believing and kept believing. I sent some of my staff back and they said, well, we're closed, you can't get in. They said, well, we have to get in. And they kept knocking on the door. And see, I love this about faith. It's very contagious. I love this that you're watching this program and you're getting faith for your needs because I believe together we are contagious. So I want you to call in and call that specific thing. And remember, you're not restless. You have faith in God and you get anchored with the word of God. And that's what I have to think sometimes in the night when I'm believing for something hasn't happened, hasn't happened. And I have to think, now, wait a minute. I'm anchored to the word of God. And we want you to be anchored to faith and not fall apart. So put your hand on your heart. I'm going to pray for you right now. Say, God, I'm not falling apart. I have faith. The devil is restless, but I'm anchored in Jesus' name. And we'd love to have you call us and do that specific thing that you're believing for. Is it for a family to be saved? Is it for a loved one to be healed? 
Is it for a financial blessing? Is it for something particular in our nation? Folks, we got to stand fast. We can't be restless in this time. We have to have faith for our nation. So what are we doing? You're my faith team out there. And so I'm just inviting you, let's have faith for your needs. Let's have faith for the needs that are going on in the world. Why not? You know, and you know, I, I hear the news and some of it is so bad. And I, I watch some news every day, usually about an hour. But God told me that you and I can be news changers. And so we can change the news. Why do we have to succumb to it? Why can't we be news changers? So when you call in, we want to pray with you to change the news. This is very, very key. And I'm on here to exercise faith with you. We are a team together to see miracles happen. And you know, you can hear all the bad news. You can listen to it. And I listen to some news every day, but I pray over the news. And do you think I think it doesn't work since I've been doing this since I was, what, 16? Hey, I've been seeing God move on nations and move in the world and move in my family, move in my health, move in ways I, I just think, wow, the faith walk is key. The faith walk is key. So we're going to just take a moment and cast your care on the Lord again because I think you're picking it up. Are you? Are you picking it up? No, I don't want you to pick it up. So, Father, we just cast that care, cast that problem. We cast it on you in Jesus' name. And, Father, we take faith today. We take faith. Faith can move a mountain. Faith can get what's on the other side of the mountain. And we thank you. We have that opportunity to walk in faith. Hey, this is awesome time, awesome time. And folks, let me say this. Sometimes you have to stretch yourself to believe. You hear yourself saying, well, I'm believing for this. You know, like I'm believing to go to Saudi Arabia and have a healing meeting, you know, and your mind will say, you're crazy. Are you nuts? You're just some old lady. Who do you think you are? And I have to go back and say what the word says. The word says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. The word doesn't say, well, you're 80 now, you're in your old age, or you know, you haven't seen people get saved like you should. You haven't seen your faith work like it should. Folks, come on. Faith works. You just can't give it up. And that's why I'm on this program. I am provoking you to believe. I am provoking you to call us and let us pray with you and see miracles happen and breakthroughs in places maybe we've never seen and things maybe we've believed for for years and they haven't happened yet. Let's believe today that we're going to connect, make faith connections. And I, you know, I think faith is like electricity. It just, once you get into faith, you get other people into faith with you. You begin to see things. You begin to wake up in the night and thank God for the miracles. And I can say that with my family. I can say it with finances. I can say it with health. Oh, I can say it with nations. I can say it with praying even some little tiny things for my neighborhood and seeing God move. Oh, I'm so glad you're watching this. I'm so glad you're going to call us. I'm so glad we get to pray with you. And we're going to get what's on the other side of the mountain. That's right. It's not just enough to move a mountain. Why am I moving it? To get what's on the other side. Why are you moving it with me? To get what's on the other side. It's time for breakthroughs like never before. So we're getting our breakthrough 
And I want you to put your hand on your heart again and say, Breakthrough is mine. Faith and fear are opposites. They cannot exist in the same place at the same time. Prepare to replace your fears with your faith and witness the transformation in your life. For your gift of $25 or more, we will send you our Freedom from Stress, Fear and Anxiety Pack. This valuable resource includes Marilyn's Breaking Free from Fear mini book, her Fear Not CD teaching, Sarah's Hope for the Future DVD, and our Breaking Free Scripture card. For your gift of $55 or more, we will include our Alabaster Anointing Oil Bottle and Frankincense Anointing Oil. Use this oil as you pray for peace over yourself, your family, and your home. This beautiful set is similar to the set used by the woman to anoint Jesus' feet in Mark 14. Now is the time to triumph over fear, stress, and anxiety forever. Call or click today for this empowering offer. Now you are aware that I love to teach you. Oh, I love to teach the Word because I like what the Word does. But I love also to pray the Word with you. So we're going to pray the promise to what? To stress, anxiety, oh my goodness, and worry. So are you ready? Because I want to pray with you. Are you ready? Let's pray together. So Father, in the name of Jesus, we come against stress, worry, oh my goodness. We come against anxiety, and we thank you, Father, that faith is stepping into stress. Faith is stepping into worry. Stay, faith is stepping into anxiety. And when we walk, we hold our, our shoulders back because we are men and women of faith. We're not overwhelmed. Our faith overwhelms the devil. And we're not restless and thinking, oh, well, it didn't happen. We're not going to give up. We don't know how to give up. And we're going to talk faith. We're going to think faith. We're going to eat faith. Every part of our being is going to be faith, 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 faith. And when people get around us, they say, wow, you really have faith. Faith is what you say, and you're saying it, and we're receiving it, and we love the miraculous in Jesus' name. 